Hi guys, welcome back to Lazy Gamer's Let's Play of Knock Knock. I wonder what happens if I don't find my diary. Nature is a machine. Nature is larger than man. Everything about it is logical. Everything can be explained. Her laws are simple, eternal and true, and the most reliable of her laws is time. Cycles decay, irreversible, ever repeating. Nothing but time brings order to the world as it always has. Fewer and fewer days left. There are fewer and fewer blank pages left. Yay. Why is there always the knocking? Really? Come now. Okay. The first time we learned about the program was in the fall, about six months after the unrest. They described it as a community initiative. Most of the tenants gathered in the courtyard of our complex. No one knew what was going on. Everyone was shouting, worried, and guessing what will come next. All kinds of rumors. Okay. Why does it make me jump every time? I need to stop. It's just knocking. Okay, I need to go to those darkened rooms and then I've explored every part of this house again. All tens of rooms. If you don't see something, it doesn't mean it isn't there. Uh-huh, that's reassuring. Thank you. Okay, just knock down my door. In any home, you only need to wait for sunrise, no exceptions. One simply cannot go on if there is night inside. Ah, oh, clock room. Hello, clock. This looks like a dismal place, but I feel at peace here. Ordinary forest topsoil, clay, sand, leaves, and compost, a normal forest the way it should be. If you say so. It doesn't look very normal when we go out into it. There was that creepy ghost chick last time. It's supposed to be like pre-dawn forest of creepiness. <sighs> okay, forest isn't so bad. wandering here. 
that. I don't like that creepy voice thing, but at least there's no knocking. Ooh, there's that chicky again. How'd we get to her? Let's try this. Is she helping me? Dude, now I know why you have insomnia. I'm totally gonna have insomnia now. And cut my hair that way, because that would be funky. Okay, this is a nice little downtime. That's creepy. That was an owl, that's fine. Owls are cool. Come on, where's my house now? Come on. House must be around here somewhere. somewhere. Not going back the other way. Let's just turn up. Come on. Home sweet home. No, I'd totally rather wander. Okay, chicky. Strange and unthinkable world appeared to me through the trees. My duty is to record the changes in the world, but how can I even be sure that any of this is real? I don't know, my boy. I just want you to get home. I don't know why I want you to get home when your home is so creepy. Really, you should just stay out in the forest. Move into the forest where it's less creepy, strangely enough. I can breathe easily. Even when you see a ghost, it's a nice little girl ghost. Maybe a future chicky for you. I don't have creepy knocking. Oh, there's my home. Found it. And you thought I never would. Okay, so I've got one more eye day, one more house day, and then monster day. Maybe. I don't know. How do, how do you think this is working? Okay. Ready for another heart attack. I've got it. It's really a case of sleepwalking. It makes perfect sense that I probably hid that diary somewhere myself in my sleep. As a child, I hid things in many places. Now I have to go through them all. Okay, we're going to be quick about this. Because I think we need to find the diary or otherwise we're going to be screwed. <laughs> Haven't I looked in here for so long?
Because we're supposed to turn on all the lights in all the rooms every day. And we're not getting there. Okay, so let's do this. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm just going to walk around turning on lights. And maybe hitting these clocks because I really don't want to be in this dark any longer than I have to be. Okay. Footprints, dirt, still a bit fresh. This is recent. What is that? Did I really walk through the forest in my sleep? Well, there's some new news. You don't scare me, creepy, growly eye thing. Totally not afraid. <gasps> Holy crap, what was that? You decide, is someone here? It smells like damp earth. He thinks that he's tearing up the diary in his sleep. He feels that while he sleeps, he's eating up his own life. Um... Okay. A child? Could there have been a child here? I can't recall. No, I can't remember anymore. I'm always forgetting things. Please don't forget things. That was really creepy with those. Okay, I'm not going back into rooms I've been in. It's fine. Screw it. Lights go out. Sometimes. Oh, fuck no. okay. Don't you hide from me. I'm not hiding. I'm in the light once he fixes the light bulb. Okay, padded room. No, thank you. Right here. I don't want to see the straight jacket chicky again. She honestly creeps the fuck out of me. Oh, there's a clock. There is a clock. do this. You really need to wake up, then all this will end. Yeah, I would love for all this to end, because I'm honestly a little bit afraid. They are coming. No, they're not coming. They're not coming. They're not, they're not welcome. No one is coming. Come on, it's almost dawn. We're almost there. Totally gonna be fine. Almost there. <sighs> okay. Hey! Hi! Whoever did this voice is fucking terrifying and I never want to meet her in real life. Wasn't so bad, right? <sighs> Welcome the guests. Set the table, put plates and cups on it. In the center, a simple round loaf of bread. You can cover the cups with pieces of paper or dead maple leaves. Don't turn off the light, but do close your eyes. Imagine the faces of people that appear at the table one after the other. These are your guests. Oh, an imaginary tea party. <laughs>